Hello YouTube. This video is for everybody at the Energy Science Forum on the Ultimate Cap Dump thread. I'm going to demonstrate the Bedini comparator circuit, slightly modified, uh, from another thread on the same forum. This here is the schematic of the original Bedini 36 volt comparator circuit. You can see it's got the opticoupler transistor which fires the two MOSFETs to connect the negative lead to the battery and dump the cap. Um, I've taken out these four items, leaving the voltage comparator, and it's, and I'll show you that, here. Um, changed out the Zener diode here to make the circuit run for 12 volts. As you can see, I've got a solid state relay replacing those other four components. Um, it's optically isolated, so there's no need for an is isolator there. Um, and it connects the negative lead to the battery. Um, it works, but I'm not certain if it's working perfectly. Maybe you guys can shed some light, actually. So, just put this here. Here's the actual circuit on my breadboard. It's a big mess. Now, there's actually two circuits here. On the left is a radiant light oscillating type circuit, which is this schematic here, from I got from lid motor. Basically, it's just oscillating the Radio Shack transformer and creating a 120 volt signal for the LED bulb. I've added a diode here at the collector as my output. Um, you can also use an SSG. I was using an SSG, but just for my testing, um, I wanted something that I could use all day long because my SSG is right here and it's been busy uh, fixing batteries for me. Okay, anyway, this here is the charge battery. Right now it's sitting at 12.6. It's actually mostly full, but it'll still work. This is the run side. And I'm going to go ahead and hook that up. Okay, there's the light. As you can see, the light connects to the circuit here, so this is oscillating. This tells me it's working. Over here is the comparator. So from, again, the middle over is the comparator. You get the SSR here, the dump LEDs right here, you can see it blinking away, and here's the capacitor bank that is being filled and dumped to the battery. Uh, battery voltage, now that we're charging, definitely going up. There's the scope shot right now. Now, this definitely works. It charges batteries, I'm happy with that part, but I'm seeing a slight difference here. Um, I had built this it's a capacitor pulser that I use with my uh, SSG here. It uses just a Zener diode and an SSR. I'm sorry, not an SSR, a Zener diode and a... Oh my god, I'm drawing a blank. An SCR, sorry. Um, and that circuit works fine in that I can see the full dump voltage on the voltmeter and it works. Now, with this comparator, with the SSR, I'm not certain it's actually dumping the whole uh, voltage because if I adjust the potentiometer here, you can see I'm going to turn it down, resistance down. Okay, so now we're all the way down and we've got more pulses per second. But if I turn it up, you can see they do get bigger, but the bottom voltage goes up along with the signal. So the voltage drop that I measure here is not what I'm expecting. It's not dropping down to the battery voltage by any stretch. Um, it is dumping, it is charging, it is working, but it does not behave like, it, like the circuit does with the MOSFETs or my Zener SCR combo, which does dump all the way down to the battery voltage, and I can measure that with my meter and with the uh, oscilloscope. So, Slightly confused about that. I think maybe the SSR is just too fast. It's just turning on and off so quickly that the capacitors don't have time to dump. That's just a guess. Maybe you all can shed some light on that for me. Um, the charging seems to be quickest if I turn it all the way down. We get the more pulses per second. You can see the charging goes up a little bit. So let me just try and get both in the shot there. Okay, so if I turn it up, it gets 
bigger. Well, it's making me a liar now. The charging usually goes down a little bit when I do that. Smaller, charging goes up, and it's going up slightly. Okay. So, this is the comparator with SSR. It works, but is it really working all the way? Maybe you guys can shed some light. Let me know if my theory about the SSR is right. Should I go back to using MOSFETs? Um, or what? Anyway, that's about it. Uh, thanks a lot.